Good day. My name is Natana Shaninga from Trade Facilitation Department. In this episode, we are going to talk about custom surety bond. What's a custom surety bond? This is a financial security issue to custom from a recognized financial institution to cover potential duty and taxes during the importation of goods. We have five different types of uh, security bond or surety bond. The first one we have a clearing agent, then we have a bonded warehouse, where then we have a credit facility, then we have temporary import, and we have transit import for bonds. In this episode, we are going to focus on bonded warehouse. What's a bonded warehouse? A bonded warehouse, or what in other words would you call a storage facility or ma manufacturing facility, it's a facility licensed by custom to store goods which duty are not yet paid. Various type of custom warehouses which are registered in terms of section 19 of the Custom and Excise Act No. 20 of 1998. The first one is a container depot or ordinary storage which is called OS. A container depot storage purpose is to store goods intended for home use or end mark for export. However, this facility is strictly a container storage to create space at NAM port storage. The second option we have, we have ordinary storage, which is OS. This facility is used to store imported goods intended for home use or re-export in the same state. The third option we have is special ordinary storage, which is called SOS. This storage facility only stores goods intended for export only, especially goods which are stored in duty free or inbound or outbound. The fourth option we have is a manufacturer, which is a VM. This is a facility intended for storage of locally manufactured or imported goods to be used in the production of a finished good. Example, the manufacturing and bottling of beer, manufacturing and packing of tobacco. Then we have a, a, a fifth option, which is a special manufacturer warehouse, which is SVM. This type of warehouse is designed for the storage of temporary importation of raw material used in the manufacturing and bottling of wine and vermouth or also other fermented beverages such as ciders. And the sixth option we have is that the manufacturing warehouse which is also called the SVM. And this, this, this SVM is strictly used for temporary importation of inward processing in the manufacturing of plastic products. Then we have a seventh option which is a primary manufacturing warehouse which is or we call it VMP. This is a clearance of raw material to be used for the manufacturing of spirit, distillation, maturation and maceration of uh, spirit. The second, uh, the eighth option we have is the secondary manufacturer warehouse which we call the VMS. This is a direct entry of custom warehousing for the purpose of branding of spirit, stabilizing of spirit, bottling of spirit, such as brandy, whiskey, gin, etc. Then the last option we have is a state warehouse. A custom state warehouse where detain or seize goods are stored until they are released or they are done for destruction. What are the requirements for a bonded warehouse? The requirement is the applicant who wish to store the good must submit the written application to the commissioner. This is applicable to both OS and SOS facility. And the second option, or the second requirement we have is the ma manufacturer applying to produce accessible good or process or store to the rebate must submit a written application also to the commissioner if you are a manufacturer. Then the other option, or the other requirement we have is that you must have a comprehensive business plan indicated the way your operation is going to take place. The, uh, the other requirement is that you must uh, indicate the anticipated business volume along with the pro proposed suppliers and customer must accompany it in the application when you are writing in your cover letter. Then the sixth requirement is that you must have a certified copy of owner identity such as passport then the seventh option we're having is that it's a proof of registration with the BIPA you must submit it also and you must also have a proof of a lease agreement of the property if you are not owning it 
mm, with the access to facilities such as internet connectivity and email. The other requirement that you must have an original valid good certificate from, NAM, from NAMRA domestic tax. And the last requirement is that we need a good standing certificate from social security. I thank you.